Welcome to episode two of Pause, Reflect, and Heal with Dr. Randy and Dr. Brian Cabin, my good buddy and, and very dear friend. Uh, Brian is a, um, is a phenomenal integrative doctor who employs homeopathy, and we're going to discuss a number of issues um, about yourself and, and hopefully about your pets. And uh, please listen on. And again, uh, the contact information is all available. We'd love you to reach out if you're interested. Um, mm -hmm. Brian, thanks for being here. I really, oh, really appreciate you being it's here. It's great being here with you, Bob. So one of the things that we discussed earlier, you mentioned it, and, um, and we, we can't let it go. We have yeah. to talk about this, is the idea of prolozone. Mm -hmm. And um, maybe you can explain to our listeners what that is. Okay. Um, and I can talk a little bit about it also. Uh, we both utilize it in our practices. Yes. Um, and it's incredibly uh, effective and, and really fun. So talk a little bit about prolozone. Prolozone is a combination of an old German therapy called neural therapy that I've you know, been using for years and actually taught a number of seminars on, mixed with using ozone. And these two are put together by, by our friend Frank Schallenberger, who's a fantastic integrative medicine doctor in, in Reno, Nevada, who's been teaching this. And what it is is a combination of homeopathic medicines. I, I use some from, from HEAL. Yep. And I used to teach for HEAL. And... Uh, so we, we use heal remedies combined with uh, vitamins and minerals, and uh, then we combine with that uh, ozone. And it's used as an injection technique, uh, both in joints and soft tissues, and it can help regenerate cartilage. It's been shown, shown in studies and can help uh, creating, you know, helping with acute pain, but usually it's used more, more in, uh, uh, for chronic, chronic cases. Chronicity. For, yeah, for chronicity. Yeah. So use a lot for you know low back problems, for knees, ankles, elbows, shoulders. So what we're trying to do is to try to at least buy time, but hopefully to help the body promote healing. It promotes stem cell formation, much less expensive than stem cell therapy. Yes. So we know what we're, what we're giving. Sure. It's using our own stem cells. It's promoting uh, stem cell growth, and it's been fantastic in a lot of cases. My initial experience with it was I, I had a, a bad biking accident, both Randy and I are, are bikers, and uh, you know, bikers who were pedaling. Yes. And uh, <laughs> the bicyclists, bikers. Yes, yes exactly. And uh, we both gave up our Harleys a long time ago. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was about five. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, I, I had uh, my my knee was was really badly injured and in surgery basically brought to the point where you know it's going to be um, a month or two before I needed uh, replacement surgery, and uh, you know I had heard about you know Frank starting you know prolozone therapy it was in the very early days of it, and I went out to see him in in, in uh, Reno and he treated me and I started going to seminars and learning it and getting you know getting treatments. And it's been 20 years now since my bad bike accident. I was supposed to have my knee replaced. I don't have a stitch of pain. I'm wow. incredibly physically active. There you are. And uh, just loving life and, and living a pain-free life. Yeah. It's been really good for a lot of people, but it's not, it, it doesn't work in every case. No, like, like any therapy does. Exactly. But, you know, um, Brian kind of turned me on to the idea of pro prolotherapy and prolozone. And um, I kind of took the ball a little bit and ran with it because I use a lot of ozone other yeah. than prolotherapy. Mm -hmm. um, we use it now prior to before we do what's called a fecal microbiome transfer because it eliminates the biofilm in the bowel so that mm -hmm. the organisms that we're putting into that animal now work way better. Um, we use a lot in, in cancer therapies, straight cancer therapies. I know Frank does a whole protocol where there's a, a sauna and your head. You know, the only thing about ozone that people need to know is you can't breathe it directly. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, if you look on, on the websites, FDA tells you it's a toxic gas. Mm -hmm. Well, it's only toxic if you breathe it. Right. Everywhere else, it's just the most amazing product. Absolutely. And to have something that is antibacterial, antifungal, anti-yeast, but also helps, um, you know, cancer hates oxygen. And ozone is providing lots of oxygen molecules, you know, um, ozonites and oxygen molecules, and it, it's very disruptive. Mm -hmm. um, so it's, it's a phenomenal uh, ability. We do it at pause. Uh, Dr. Cabin does it in his, in his practice. 
Um, and so if you want more information, you can reach out to either one of us. Uh, but we wanted to talk about that specifically because it's a really novel uh, integrative therapy that we both use that uh, a lot of people don't know about. No, they and, don't, and a lot of physicians don't know about it right. and, and don't use. Right, yeah. yeah. So thanks for mentioning that and bringing it up. I'm, I'm yeah, glad absolutely. we were able to talk about it. There's some, there's some amazing cases that we've had uh, utilizing that, and, and um, it's, it's just been a great advent in our practice. Tell me a little bit about, um, for you, um, where the spiritual piece comes in because I know that's very important for you. It is. <laughs> and I don't allude to it when I talk a lot, but mm -hmm. it's there for me, obviously, also. Mm -hmm. So maybe talk a little bit about that, if you don't mind. Yeah, I mean, if, if, you, don't, if you don't love the people that you're, you're treating and love, love what you're doing, you, you know, you're, you're going to have much better, much better outcomes. Um, people need to be respected as individuals. We all have different ideas and thoughts and we want to be listened to. So spending time with people is really important and time where you're not just typing, you know, typing notes into a computer or writing prescriptions. So you want to get the, you know, you're not treating a disease, you're, you're treating the person. Right. And, you know, in, you, in your case, you're, you, you've got, it's more complicated because you, you've got the person and their pet. Right. And but you're treating both. Oh, absolutely. And, absolutely. And all the frustration in your field comes from from treating the people. Yeah. And in my field too. Yeah. I'm but sure. But also the joy comes from. <clears throat> in my field comes from treating you know treating people. So I, I respect people, and I'm, I'm a human being. I'm in the pro. I'm a spiritual being in the process of growing. I'm not perfect by any way. I'm trying to become better and learning through this. And I believe that you know life. What's inevitable in life is death and taxes. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I don't deal much with the tax part, but, you know, we all have a finite lifespan and part of the interaction with a physician is we want to have somebody that we trust. Sure. There's de development of a bond in a relationship, just like between a, a human and an animal. And we have the opportunity both to help people grow and for us to grow and to respect where they're coming from. And I think that, you know, kind of that, the allopathic medicine, the more the mainstream medicine, it's so rushed. You don't have an opportunity to listen to people. You don't really know the know the person right. or the animal that you're you're treating. Right. And it's much quicker. You can see a lot more people when you're just using pharmaceuticals. Sure. Plus, you get rewarded because the system is geared that way, and there's perks for you know following you know following the system. Sure. In addition, when you're outside of the system, at least. I'm not sure as much in veterinary medicine. It's a topic for the future, but you know there's the usual customary care, and if you're really not finding, following the guidelines of usual customary care, um, you're looked upon as being uh, less than. Yes. And yes. Uh, so you have to be a brave individual to respect where people are coming from, because a large percentage of, of people know that there's a lot of nonsense going on. Yes. They know that strong drugs are being promoted. Big yes. Pharma is very powerful and has very strong lobbying. They keep, they keep developing stronger and stronger drugs. So when I use antibiotics, I try you know, not to use them unless we need them. Sure. But I use older antibiotics. Many of the newer antibiotics have much more side effects. Yes. But they bring more profit to the pharmaceutical industry. Sure. A lot of drugs are being, are being um, used now that really have no efficacy. They really don't work, but they bring in tremendous amounts of money. And really what you're, you're looking at is an honest relationship with a patient. And there's people who you know, who want that allopathic medicine and God bless them. You know, I'm glad that it's there. And for, for all of us, there's times in which it's necessary. But the ideal thing to do is to stay healthy, let your body heal, use natural things, and as much as you can, stay out of the grasp of mainstream medicine. Sure. Um, but when it's there, I mean, I'm so grateful that it's there. Sure. You know, a good, sure. good surgeon is, is a lifesaver. Yep but you don't want to do surgery when, when you don't need surgery. Don't need to. And, that, and, and before we take a break uh, and we'll report, record the second podcast, um, that was a question I wanted to ask you and have you address because I've talked about it also. And that's the use of, of the Western or the allopathic stuff that we do do. I mean, mm -hmm. I remember people coming and calling and saying, I want to come for acupuncture. And then I would ask them, well, what's wrong with your pet? I don't know. I mean, and so, you know, 
what I try to explain to people is I still do blood work. Mm -hmm. I still do EKGs. Mm -hmm. I still do x-rays, mm -hmm. ultrasounds, yeah, absolutely. CAT scans, MRIs, whatever is indicated if, as long as it's indicated. But I, I just wanted you to address that also because people think, well, you know, you know, if, if Dr. Kamen is just going to send some drops home and stuff like that, you know, is there anything else that he's doing to make sure that I, you know, I don't have other issues going on? Yeah, no, absolutely. And, you know, we're on the same page with that. The diagnostics of mainstream medicine are very good. Yep. Um, the imaging and a lot, a lot of the technology is just advancing at such a rapid rate and it's good. And, you know, like everything else in the world, it's good and it's bad. Sure. It's bad in that, you know, one thing that, you know, that I, that I do address is I'm concerned about how much radiation the patient is getting. I'm concerned about if they don't need to have enhancement with a radioactive chemical intravenously, um, I, I like not to do it. So I just want to do things in the safest way that will get us the proper diagnostics but are safe. Then beyond that, there's many laboratories like microbiome testing or food allergy testing or testing for candida albicans, which is you know a common complication in the microbiome that I you know treat commonly. Um, that we have these more natural laboratories, sure. And we go so we go beyond. We do the diagnostics that mainstream medicine does, and and you know do it as safely as we can, sure. But then we go beyond, and we have our laboratories where we gain even more information. And we're able to make diagnoses that the you know mainstream doctors don't make, and you know there's science to this. Sure, but sure. a lot of it is you know that that's that's uh, evolving as well. There's we're, we're we're learning a lot more in the natural. Sure, um, I want to let you know that this episode is is brought to you by Paws Veterinary Center. I happen to know this place pretty well since uh, I started it with my lovely wife uh, now almost 15 years ago. Wow. Um, Paws is uh, is uh, look is for pet owners who are looking for something different, uh, something more. We where service is kind of exceptional, and we there's a much broader and deeper approach to the care of your pet. We kind of call it transformative medicine, uh, but you can look at uh, Paws at the website, which is www.pawstucson and that's T-U-C-S-O-N. Most people don't spell that well. Mm -hmm. uh, dot com. Uh, phone call is 520-888-7297. And then again, get contacting me through uh, drrandypetvet.com. Please email me. Uh, there's a phone number there that you can reach out to me, um, especially if uh, we're, Brian and I are, 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 are chumming at the moment because we're looking to go out and do some speaking. If you have an organization that would love to have us come and talk, uh, we'll do a great uh, seminar for you, a lot of Q&A. We have spent a lot of time answering questions. So thanks for listening uh, today. <coughs> to pause, reflect, and heal with Dr. Randy. Thank you, Brian, for being here. Oh, really pleasure, appreciate buddy. it.